well, we're always kind of talking about wanting to find the real New York right. and not the fake New York, the touristy <laughs> New York. Yeah. And oddly, the first thing I thought of was going to Fairway and Redbird. <laughs> you know? Because Fairway, they should pay me for this and they don't. Uh, <laughs> Fairway's my favorite grocery store in the world. I've never found any place like it. Not just because they have everything, uh, almost everything, but because there's so much personality. The little signs, the handwritten notes, don't even think of double dipping. It's so <laughs> it feels like New York. Uh, the one up, the one uptown is the most fun because the little old ladies elbowing you at the <laughs> counter. But Red Hook is pretty cool too, and it's so, it's just such an odd place. And you go there and you, you get halfway done with your shopping. What we usually do is we go in the morning and we get halfway done with our shopping, park the cart. I don't think you haven't been. It's pretty amazing. You park your cart. They have an extensive lunch place where you can get sandwiches and pizza and whatever. And then you go outside to eat it, with, and you have a panoramic view mm -hmm. of New York Harbor and the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island and container ships and cruise ships. And, and, you know, it, and yet you're in this funky, odd neighborhood in Brooklyn that's very sort of work day. It's a, it's a pain to drive to from my neighborhood because I have to go through your neighborhood yeah. <laughs> to get there. But, uh, that's kind of a weird one. Um, hmm. Quintessential place to fall in love with New York? Mm -hmm. Let me just leave it at that. I'll try to think. I'll try to. <laughs>